We've just had Boris Johnson's statement to the House of Commons after the landmark Sue Gray report was published this morning. Uh, it's only about 12 pages long. Sue Gray has basically been told by the Met Police not to go into too much detail on some of the allegations that they are already looking at. So here in Westminster, MPs uh, and political journalists are sort of trying to figure out what this means for Boris Johnson and his political career. I think he's coming out fighting today. I think the mood among MPs at the moment is very much, let's wait and see the full details of this before we make uh, any conclusions on whether he should stay or go. However, in the House of Commons today, uh, we had a few pretty rowdy uh, backbenchers sort of giving Boris a few bits of trouble. Uh, Andrew Mitchell, who has been a long critic of Boris and essentially saying to the PM, it's time for you to go. And I have to tell him, he no longer enjoys my support. I had Theresa May, don't know if you remember her, former Prime Minister, uh, and now backbencher, still in the House of Commons. So either my right honourable friend had not read the rules, or didn't understand what they meant, and others around him, or they didn't think the rules applied to number 10. Which was it? Yeah. Pretty fierce moment for her to sort of stand up behind Boris and sort of start attacking him in that way. We've got a lot of MPs that are pretty angry with the way that this whole thing has been handled. Um, I think at the moment Boris Johnson has probably bought himself a little bit of time for MPs to to basically wait and see whether they do charge anyone, do do any sort of fixed penalty notices for anyone. Boris also came out in his statement to basically say that he would create a new office um, for the Prime Minister's office. Uh, that will include a new permanent secretary, include a shake-up of number 10 and Downing Street and how it all works. He's hoping that this sort of shake-up of his top team and, and how everything operates at the very heart of government is going to be enough to, to promise his backbenchers and voters that he uh, recognises what, what, you know, what's happened has been wrong and uh, that he's going to change things. I've got no idea exactly how long the police are going to take to come back with their landmark uh, findings, whether anyone's going to get fined, whether anyone's going to get any fixed penalty notices. At the moment, we've got no idea. However, we don't imagine it will be too long. Sue Gray and her team at the Cabinet Office have handed over all of the information to the Met Police, so we're hoping that it won't be too long before they come back with it. But at the moment, Boris Johnson's main line of attack is to say, look, uh, Sue Gray has published whatever she can, uh, and the Met Police will come back with their findings in due course.